Hi there, it's me again. How are you? I hope you're all doing well. Today I want to do a short review and what's in my bag of a bag I have been using, but I also want to show you what has arrived for me from the United States. You know, I said I was getting a couple of Vera Bradley items, so I did show you the other one. I had the Vala Bloom, but this one is something else, but I'll get back to that shortly. At the moment, I have been using, and I do tend to change my bags at least once, maybe every couple of weeks, sometimes a bit more often, depending on what I'm wearing. So today, this is what I'm using, and I have been using this. It's a... Uh, Slouchy bag, it's a Marikai bag, it has a couple of long outside pockets here on either end and then one big zipper which opens up to a huge area, I don't know if you can see that. It's an Australian brand so I don't know if you would get those anywhere overseas. In my bag I have a makeup bag which is quite a large one. But I've got tons of stuff in it, so I'm using that one. You'll know this one. That's my little coin purse, which is um, Vera Bradley in Julep Tulip, I think it was. I still use that. I alternate, but you know, if you know my story. I go back to things eventually. The next thing I have is my planner. Now I had a blue one, but this is the one I'm using at the moment, and it's just um, it's all leather lots of spots in there and I'm actually using it with my um, my budget system so I keep that with me all the time I'm actually changing out of this wallet into something else that I'm going to show you so that's why I've got the other one ready to go this is a wallet I have been using it's a Millenni one pretty basic just a zip around style really small it's got lots of card spots and places Reasonably simple wallet, but it was it suited what I wanted um, for the bag that I'm using. It's not leather, but most of my bags, I have a few really nice leather ones, and I've shown you a couple of them. I've got a few more to show you, but I just haven't had time to do this because um, I'm trying to get through some of the Vera Bradleys that I've got. But um, most of my bags and wallets are not leather. They're more vegan, but um, I do have a few that, um, absolutely are these are more fashion items that's why you know they're they're not quite as expensive so I can have a few of these and I've got a collection I've had for a long time anyway and these are some of those I'm gradually wading through them because I'm selling them as I don't I know I won't use them anymore so that's the wallet I'm using then I've just got some perfume which is Mauricia it's a Russian perfume and that smells divine. If you had smell -a vision you'd smell that and you'd know it's absolutely gorgeous. One thing I did want to show you, and it's probably a bit late now because I think they are uh, old seasons, but I have a lovely Rimmel Lippy, and it's a Kate Moss one. I think the colour's 107. I love that too. I'm actually wearing that one. It's beautiful. It's a really classic, classic colour. And it's called Rimmel brand, which is an English brand, um, Britain. But um, you can, I can get them here in Australia. So hopefully if you're in the US or somewhere else that you'll be able to get these. Um, if you've got any comments, just message below. And I'll write a little bit of a description in the description box about this one anyway. Just thought I'd show you that because I had forgotten. I've got a body spray, which I carry with me. It's Impulse. My mints are in here because I can hear them and my keys are up one end. There so there's nothing in um, this bag other than what I've just told you. I'm just going to get my mints out and a pen because they're going into my other bag. So what I'm going to do is show you the other bag. Yeah, who knows what this is? Do you know? All right, I'm going to tell you. This is called a Glenna bag, and it's uh, Vera Bradley. As most of these ones that I'm showing you are, because they're I'm obsessed with them. I love the colours. Can't 
get over how many gorgeous colours I actually love. Um, this is the Heather. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. It's actually a really good size. Um, when you open... That's inside. Stunning. See the colours? Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I've heard um, a couple of people on um, YouTube that have done um, reviews of this bag don't like the fact that it has a bit of a recessed zip. Now, it doesn't bother me at all because it is a really good size. It's quite quite roomy in there. Um, you zip it up so it recesses that much. But as I said, it's not a problem for me. I've tried my things in it a couple of times now and it's not been an issue. It also has a couple of outside pockets, one there and one on that side. No end pockets even though there's like a band there, but I think that's the finishing of the bag. Um, it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So I'm going to put all my stuff back in here, bar my wallet, because my wallet, I'm going to show you something in one minute. So again, this one has like three pockets. Most of Vera Bradley's have um, sidewall pockets to sort of be organized because they're very good organizational um, bags, and that's one thing I absolutely love about them. So I've got three on this um this bag. The other side has a zipper. So can you see that? Zip. And then the wall, I've already started putting my items into there. There's another pocket there. Excellent. Because I have a lot of things to put in my bags at different times. And I don't like them rolling around in the bottom of my bag because I can't find anything. And I don't know if you're like that, but if you're in a rush and you can't get out in a hurry, you've got to throw everything in and then you can't find it when you go in to look for them. So that's why I like the pockets. The outside pocket, I've just popped my keys into. Deep, that's really big. The other pocket, I have nothing in at the moment. So that's pretty much filled that up already except my wallet. So that shows you. That was easy. Pretty easy. Now I could probably put my planner on the outside if I wanted to be super organised. Because I'll show you, it actually does fit. I'm sorry I'm not looking at you, but I'm concentrating on what I'm doing. There it goes. It's in there. You wouldn't know it was in there. It's quite roomy though. So that's probably a good way for it to go. Because, I mean, you don't necessarily need it. And that comes out smoothly. Once you wiggle it in, it um, goes in beautifully. So that's it now. Now, what I'm going to show you is... Do you remember me talking to you? If you've seen my other videos, I was talking to you about um, Happy Snails. And I loved Happy Snails. And I was looking for a wallet in Happy Snails. Guess what? I found one. This one's a t an accordion wallet. So that's basically it. Everything is on the inside. But isn't the colour stunning? Can you see that? And the reason it's called Happy Snails, there's tiny little snails. Pictures of them dotted around it's sort of more, oh, if you don't do you know this um it's a book my kids all had it's called where's wally that's sort of like this because you can see them and you've got to pick them out there's one there oh there's one there hiding on the flowers it's beautiful and this is one of my absolute favorite passions as you as you know i've got a few and the list is growing but i'm trying to be strong and just buy what i really really want the only thing i'm really looking for now is a provencal a turn up wallet or one in this um, that would be great for me because I think you know I've got enough at the moment that's what it looks like on the inside so there's a zipper here card spots there and there's a pocket behind that side which is quite good and there's a couple of open sections here it also has an ID so there's an ID section here which you can put your ID or a photo in which is really really good then the other side has a not a lot of cards but this one is caught is sewn into the wall so you can't open it out so there's nothing behind that except this lot one that's really deep at the back so I don't know what you put in there something you probably would want to lose because it goes down quite deep probably not a card maybe something on its side but it's a beautiful wallet concertina opens up quite wide so that's Happy Snails.
in the accordion wallet. I don't know whether this one's available anymore. Um, I think the pattern has retired, but it's absolutely stunning and I am so happy I've got it. So I'm going to change my wallet, which is this one, into that one. And I'm sure it will fit. But what I'm not going to do now is do that now. I'll do it later. What I want to talk to you about is I have a couple um, of really nice bag sets that are coming up in the next day or so. So I'm going to get to those. I do apologise if I, hang, I don't get to them fast enough. I just end up getting time to do them because there's so many things I want to show you and so many things that um, I wanted to talk about, but I can't really do that. In such a hurry because I, you know, I only have a limited time. So I try to show you the bags that I have been using. So we've gone out of this one, which was the Marakai Leopard Print, which is a really quite a winter sort of bag, but beautiful and soft. Into my new Glenna bag, which I love. And I love the thing I love about this, which I'll quickly say before I go, is the straps are really, really generous. So they go over your shoulder really comfortably. They don't sort of sit under the armpit, which I don't like. I like them a little bit longer so you don't feel restricted. Um, it's a beautiful bag. As I said, I've heard complaints about the recess zip in there, but it's not an issue for me. I don't have any problem with it. I've got a lot in there, um, but not an issue at all. And I do have a small makeup bag, which is a Vera Bradley one, which I'll probably put in here at some point. But I just wanted to show you the main things that would go in there and they fit beautifully in there. So remember that, that's called the Glenna bag. I'm not sure if it's still available. Um, I would say it probably is, but I don't know what patterns are available. But as I have a real soft spot for this Heather pattern, that's the one I tend to really go for because I think it's beautiful and it's got all the colors of summer to me I mean there's a lot of beautiful colors in the patterns I love the Provencal because that's really bright and cheery but this one as an everyday bag is beautiful too it's got a sort of bottom on it it's sort of like a circular bottom but it's not super hard so there's not a real you know stiffness but it's structured so that's a really really good thing so, look, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to come back again at some point in the next, I don't know, a couple of days once I've done these other videos and show you a few more of the my precious items. Okay? You take care of yourselves. I'm glad to see you're all okay. And I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye from Maggie for now. Bye-bye.